What's up guys? My name is Jason Henry, the Redhead Henry, and today I wanted to go over the basics of After Effects. This is an introductory to the program, and over the next few videos in the series, we will cover what After Effects can do, how to effectively work inside of After Effects, making sprite animations, or just animations in general. So we're not going to be doing any animating today, I just want to show you guys the program, what it looks like, how it functions, and the purpose of the program. To give you guys a brief background on me and my experience in After Effects, I started playing around with the program in high school back in 2003. I graduated from the Illinois Institute of Art in 2010 with a degree in web design and interactive media with a strong focus on web design and video and motion graphics. I have over 14 years experience in After Effects with about six of those years in a professional workplace. I work in the program almost daily in my free time on personal sprite animations and professionally creating motion graphics and animations. Now before we get started with this new tutorial series, I would like to point out that After Effects relies primarily on three things. Your processor, how much RAM you have installed, and your graphics card. I would highly recommend at least 16 gigabytes of RAM and an i7 processor. The more RAM that you have, the better. Same goes for your processor. Uh, the better processor you have, the better. Also, if you have multiple hard drives or solid state drives, that's also very beneficial and I'll explain why in the next tutorial uh, why that's beneficial. So what is Adobe After Effects? It's the industry standard tool for motion graphics and visual effects. Artists and post-production professionals and animators use it for film, TV, and web. It's a layer-oriented program. Like most Adobe programs, you are working within layers on a timeline. The majority of all of your work that you will be doing will be in the timeline. So to go over the program, it may look intimidating with all of these windows and boxes and buttons. Don't get discouraged by that. It just takes a little bit of time and practice to get used to working inside of the program. Repetition is key here, like anything else. Now when you first open After Effects, it should look something like this. So let's start over here in our project bin or project library. Now, that's over here to the left. Uh, this is where you import all of your new raw files. After Effects pretty much accepts almost every video file type, in addition to picture files, audio files, so PNGs, JPEGs, MP3, the list goes on and on. Additionally, we have our Effects Controls uh, window panel up here as well. This window is used when you apply certain effects to layers to make adjustments to those effects. You would use this window here and it would display those available options for that particular effect. So if I apply a hue and saturation effect to a layer uh, to mess with the controls for that, you would come over here to your Effects and Controls window. So heading over to the right, we have our stage. This area is currently blank right now because we haven't set up a composition yet. But this is where you will visually see what you are currently working on in your timeline. Whatever layers you implement or make changes to in your timeline will visually display here. Now down below we have our timeline, and again, this is where you will primarily be working. Every asset that you import into After Effects, you will have to drag out to your timeline in order for it to be displayed on your stage. Uh, you can manipulate it. You can manipulate the layers and effects and presets to layers. Additionally, you can create text, shapes, new layers, adjustment layers, cameras, lights, null objects, masks, and other useful objects in your timeline as well. So on the right, you should have a preview window, and let me just expand this here for you. So this window is uh, pretty important because this is how you will test or preview your animation while you're working on it. You also have other windows here as well. Let me scroll this back up here. We have effects and presets, paragraph, wiggler, alignment. So all of these are very useful uh, for creating certain objects and certain effects inside of After Effects. So at a very basic level, that is the basics of what's going on with the program here, visually just looking at it, and what windows do what inside of the program. Now additionally, you can add more windows to make them visible in After Effects by going up to a window, and then selecting what window you would like to uh, be displayed here. So for example, if I click on Motion Sketch, you'll notice down here on the right that Motion Sketch uh, window just popped up here. So I'm actually going to turn that back off because... I'm not going to be using that. 
So today I'm going to show you how to create a composition and what options we have when creating compositions. So first and foremost, what is a composition? So a composition is basically a container for all of your visual elements. You will have to create a composition first before adding any visual elements to your timeline. So let's go ahead and create that composition. So if I come up to composition, new composition, that opens up these composition settings here for me. Now additionally, I'm a very big fan of shortcuts and using them. So you'll notice here you can also hit Control N. So if you hit Control N, that brings up the exact same window for your composition settings. Composition name, we're going to go ahead and call this Main Comp. Oops. And then we'll come down here to our Basic tab. Now, there are a bunch of different presets that you guys can use, but just to get started, Make sure you select custom and we'll go with a width of 1920 by 1080 and make sure that the aspect ratio is locked as well. It's going to be a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So this is a 1080p HD video composition that we're creating here. Make sure that the pixel aspect ratio is set to square pixels. Also ensure that your frame rate is 30. Resolution should be set to full. Time code, you can start at all zeros. And duration, so this is essentially the how long this composition is going to be uh, in, in, in frames, seconds, minutes, and hours. So we're going to say 30 seconds with a black background color. We also have a 3D render and advanced tab, but we're not going to worry about those for now. Just keep it on basic and say OK. So now you'll notice what just happened here. We have created our new composition. Our new composition has appeared over in our project bin, which is great. Uh, the composition is 30 seconds in length, so 30 seconds in length. So you will notice that our timeline is now 30 seconds long. We also have this little green uh, bar here that just appeared, which I will go over in the next tutorial. And you'll notice that we have this main comp tab, which opened here in our timeline, which is perfect. That's exactly what we want. So as far as creating a, a composition, that is it, guys. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to effectively set up After Effects on the back end so your workflow will be the most optimized for previewing out your animations. And in the tutorial after that, we will get into the fun stuff. I'll be showing you how to add layers to your timeline and we'll actually be animating something epic using nothing but text and shapes. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Please give me a like and subscribe for more tutorials and I will catch you guys next time. <music>